and welcome to Folk from the Boat episode 119. I hope you are very well this week and all of a sudden it feels like it's spring. So I thought I would have some tea on my roof with you. Um, please have a cup <laughs> and, uh, and show you where we are. So I promise that we're going to be entering, like for me, one of the most beautiful areas of the River Lee, which is the sort of Lee Valley Park between, um, between Waltham Abbey and Broxbourne. So we are just south of Broxbourne now, between Broxbourne and Chesant, and there is King's Weir in the background there. We can go and have another look at that in a second. And, <clears throat> wow, I don't know, everything just seems so lovely in the sunshine. The ducks are behaving like idiots because it's spring. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, generally chasing each other around. Um, I've got a little bit of a sore throat at the moment, so you're gonna be having a tune today and I'm gonna take you inside for that. So it's going to be on hurdy-gurdy and it's, uh, it's a Spanish thing. I'm gonna tell you, tell you all about that. But yeah, bright things, bright things happening. So yeah, come and, uh, <laughs> yeah, come and, come and visit. <laughs> so this week I'm looking at one of the Cantigas. Uh, they are written in the mid 13th century, they're Spanish. And I'm playing it on the hurdy-gurdy, which is an instrument that I'm learning at the moment with the magnificent Steve Tyler. Do check out his YouTube channel. He is amazing and giving me lots of amazing tips as to how to, to play this. So if you're not familiar with the hurdy-gurdy, it's an instrument that plays melodies with keys. And the sound is produced when we turn this wheel here with the crank. Now, alongside being able to make melodies, we can also create rhythms with something called a trompet, uh, trumpet, and uh, I'll show you some of these. So this is when we get a little buzzing sound. What actually happens is that this little bridge just here, called a shun or a dog, moves, vibrates, zzz, 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 and you get that. So what I am learning to develop is basically uh, to, to make more nuances with this. So before I had sort of, I was just making it up basically as I went along. Now I'm learning about long buzzes and short buzzes, for example. <laughs> to also you know all keep the same rhythm so it's uh, very much how this uh, this arm, arm here is moving fast or slowly how it grips this um, lots of little tricks and I've been learning various rhythms as well it comes down to a very mathematical set of patterns here so with Steve I've been developing my repertoire of little rhythms that I can then combine in different ways and what I'm showing you today is one of the Cantigas, it's number 266. And the way they are structured, there is a refrain, which is like two lines of music, of, we could call it a part A, and then there's a verse stanza, which starts off with a, a B, something different, and then it repeats the same music as the refrain. But then you come back to the refrain, because the words would be different if we were to sing it. So later on in a future one, we're going to have Steve in, and we're going to have double hurdy-gurdy, and I'm going to sing one of these. For now, I'm just uh, honing, honing my skills. So I'm going to show you now uh, what I've been playing around with. Everything, well, everything on Folk from the Boat is a work in progress. So here is where I'm at with my long and short buzzes, my different rhythms, and ah, there is a special, if you get through to the, near the end of the tune, there is a little special harmony trick that I'm gonna add in as well. 